Hello, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another What's in Your Energy stuff for you all. <clears throat> I'm a little sick. Whew, so bear with me. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember, <clears throat> this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. I just heard they're all going to take accountability. Please, please, please do not force it, as sometimes I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel, such as healing generational curses and childhood trauma. For some reason, they want to come out like this. This is very strange. I feel like the tables are shifting or turning. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, my lovelies. There's some nastiness going around. I don't know if it's a cough, a flu, COVID, whatever it is, but I got it. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, this is my tattooed tarot deck. <clears throat> Bear with the cracking in my voice. This is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. If you haven't already, <clears throat> please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. My lovelies, check out my website, lunajadebotanica.com, and check out my Etsy. Um, there you can book a reading, purchase my candles, my sprays, my intention candles. I made this uh, for healing. I'm going to light it on the new year. That way I can go in fresh and uh, with some good energy. So you can order yours for any intention you'd like. Let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> This two of cups and knight of coins is very, is very hot. So we'll start over here. <clears throat> over here in your energy, Virgos, justice, Libra energy, two of cups, the world and the knight of coins. Why do I feel like you're getting justice? But it also, I'm also hearing you're not doing yourself any justice. I think Virgos in the past, <clears throat> you've been kind of shooting your shot very low, if that makes sense. You have been um, settling for a very low frequency or low dimensional partners. I almost said pay, low dimensional or low vibrational pay. Um, job opportunities, um, friends, situations, living conditions. Things are about to shift and they're about to, to come into balance for you here with this justice card. Justice quite literally means getting your just rewards. <clears throat> balance, equality, a level playing field, a new level pretty much. I just heard knowledge, strength, and wisdom. Things that you've more than likely have acquired over the past five years, I want to say, is the closing of the chapters. Remember, we're going through this karmic cycle here <clears throat> um, all December. I just am about to upload a podcast episode. It is called December 2023. So go ahead and check that out. It's going to talk about what all this wrapping up is talking about, all these karmic cycles, things like that. I'll leave the link in the description below for you. But <clears throat> we're wrapping up cycles so you can receive justice, so you can move forward, so you can clear this level and move on. For some of you, I think this has a lot to do with your self-love. And also, forgive me, but your relationships, <clears throat> okay? Some of you have been shooting or aiming very low in relationships. Have you ever heard, we accept the love we think we deserve? I think your self-love and self-confidence has boosted quite literally up, Virgo, and you're tired of the BS. I see someone peeking, and it's freaking me out. I'm looking up over here, and I see someone peeking over the wall, and, uh... Again, I'm hearing pink sugar, pink sugar. There's definitely something about the color pink. Oh, I got the chills. Yeah, it's like <coughs> sticking out to me. I'm looking over here, over here, over here. There's pink everywhere. And then over here, my candle. Something definitely specific about the color pink. I just heard you're going to be wearing pink. 
darn, I look up and there's like pink roses right there. Um, I just heard magenta blues. What in the world does that mean? Magenta blues, but I'm also hearing magnolia. I feel like there is a love, a lasting love coming in for you, or also that you've bloomed into who you are, into your own skin, into you're finding your vibe and you're being vibrant from that. <clears throat> I feel that strongly, Virgo. The Two of Cups is here. You're finally going to be getting justice in your relationships or your love life. Karmic rewards are being paid the flip out. I'm seeing someone like drop a heart, like instead of a coin into a wishing well, a heart into your cup, almost like a piggy bank. I'm seeing someone shake it up. There's a whole lot going on with people who have done you wrong. Virgos, people have done you wrong and there's a whole lot going on. For some of you, you may be going through some bad stuff at the moment. Okay, maybe you owe someone some karmic, <laughs> some, you're getting karma from some karma that you may have racked up. <clears throat> I just heard, bless your little heart. Bless your little heart. I'm, it's weird. I'm seeing someone bite down on something. Think before you speak, Virgos. And I just heard, don't lie. Think before you speak and don't lie. <clears throat> I just heard, be careful not to move. Be careful not to move. There's something very crazy going on. I feel like you're going to be put in a situation that's a very um, a fight or flight. Oh, I got the chills and I don't know why. I don't know why, but that's scary to me. You're going to have to pick an option and it's going to be very hard is what I'm hearing. Or you're going to have to really be in a place of, do I speak up or do I not? Okay, the cards are saying, think before you speak because we are still in Mercury retrograde loves. Okay, um, Sometimes mis <clears throat> things are miscommunicated during Mercury retrograde. So be very wary and be very careful uh, what you speak because you're speaking into existence. Think about what you want before you speak it into existence. Remember, only good vibes, only positivity. If you're wanting the love of your life, your soulmate, which is this soulmate energy, speak exactly what you want into existence. <clears throat> Because I feel like there is some payout coming, Virgo. Definitely. Especially, I think even like from some of you, you're the father or mother of your children. Or like there's something about your children are going to get justice too. They deserve it is what I just heard. They deserve it. I just heard Aries. And I just heard bug eyes, bug eyes. Gosh, that's crazy. The world in reverse. <clears throat> Sagittarius energy. We are in, still in Sagittarius season, which is wild. All right, there was a lot of wrapping up of old cycles. The world in reverse means stagnancy. It means no forward movement. It also means the cycle can't continue. There's a cycle here that cannot continue. I just heard you're not even healthy. Someone is really getting hit in the health department. I don't feel like it's you, Virgo. I feel like it's someone that owes you. Okay, someone that owes you some sort of apology or something is getting hit in the health department. There were a few cycles that have been closed up. 
you probably just walked away. There probably wasn't any really resolution. You just walked on out. <clears throat> and with the Knight of Coins in reverse, I no more going back. No more going back to half love, right? To half, I'm sorry for cursing, but half ass love, half ass opportunities. I just heard two bit men or two bit women. You see that, doesn't that look like the road? It's like forward movement only, like only forward movement on up. There's something about a Frisbee. For some of you, there's no going back. Like, not a Frisbee, um, a boomerang. Something leaves and comes back and leaves and comes back, okay? So, uh, for some of you, you have closed out a very long on and off type of cycle. And they're saying you can't go back to that. And because you can't or because you've closed it off or because you know your worth or you value yourself and you have integrity to not put yourself in those same situations. Some of you have broken a trauma bond and some of you have um, healed your codependency issues, abandonment issues. And because of that, now you are speaking into a whole new love. A whole new love is coming. <clears throat> Excuse me. Over here in your surrounding energy, my lovelies, Queen of Wands in reverse, the star in reverse, the hermit, the five of cups. Someone's mad. Someone's super mad. Star in reverse is Aquarian energy. Her hermit is Virgo. <coughs> Excuse me. Queen of Wands is Leo. Five of cups is Cancer. Or it could be Scorpio. I just heard you were the best. <clears throat> you were the best. I'll be honest, Liz. It looks like someone's relationship is going to crumble because of what they did. Remember, loves, December is all about wrapping up cycles, wrapping up karma, wrapping up <clears throat> loose ends, ties. There's a whole lot going on. Check out my podcast episode. I think some of you might like that or might resonate with it to explain what's really going on here. But um, I feel like there's a big argument coming. I just heard they're going to disrespect you. They're going to disrespect you. There's a big argument coming. <clears throat> Chewed up and spit out. Chewed up and spit out. And I'm hearing you're not going to care. You're not going to care or they're not going to care. The Queen of Wands in reverse. There's a feminine energy that is livid. <laughs> livid, Virgos. I can and see it. I was looking at it, trying to read it another way, and my intuition is saying, nope. <laughs> there is a feminine energy that is livid. I'm hearing Priscilla. I'm hearing shake the dreads. I'm not sure what that means. I'm hearing, I'm seeing that, that scene from Dave, like when Dave Chappelle's um, playing the flute on the Chappelle show. Y'all remember that where he's like, do, 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 do. I don't know why. I feel like there's like, <clears throat> I feel like there's someone who's like really not thinking clearly at the moment. They're mad you didn't get them a Christmas present. There's something very weird about whatever 
situation or person this is, but someone is livid, okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who is very scorned, very bitter, very jealous, very raunchy um, at times. This could also be someone who is very um, intentional on hurting someone. Or they feel like they have no fault in anything, right? Their ego is bruised. Ooh, I just, I'm seeing the letter F. I'm hearing Frankie. I'm hearing Frankie. We, I'm seeing like four eyes on this person. <clears throat> like snake eyes, like regular eyes and then snake eyes. Do y'all see that at the bottom? It looks like they have four eyes. This person is fuming mad is what I'm getting. Very fuming with the star here because they feel like there's something that you like have taken from them. You've taken their happiness or you've taken their wish or their dream or <clears throat> they're really upset with you, but I don't think that you even like have anything to do with them or with this person. Star is Aquarian energy. Okay, the star in reverse is like helplessness, hopelessness, um, a wish being taken back. Okay, not feeling at peace, not feeling hopeful, not feeling serene. Gosh, what is this? My ear is freaking ringing, loves. The angels are talking. Uh, my left ear is ringing so bad. I'm hearing the name Freddy. I don't know what this is. For some of you, this Queen of Wands is a masculine energy. That's what they're telling me. It's a masculine energy. Some of you, there is someone who is um, like transgender. Not for all of you, just for some of you. And I'm seeing something about a guitar. Something very significant about a guitar. <clears throat> this could be a woman mad about a masculine energy that has to do with you, Virgo. The star in reverse, they're upset, they're sad, they're depressed, they're down. That's weird. I'm hearing infinite pie. Infinite pie. What the heck does that mean? So crazy because I was going to buy a little pie at McDonald's today with the hermit here. God, that means something. Someone tell me if that resonates because it's going to drive me absolutely nuts. The hermit here, Virgo energy. My loves, I think you'd be keeping to yourselves. <laughs> I don't think you have anything to do with this person. I don't think you have anything to do with their connection. I think you're focused on your own lane. You're focused on your own light. You're focused on your divinity, your spirituality, your growth. You've been doing some introspection, some soul searching, right? Virgos, the hermit talks about staying inside, staying to yourself, right? <clears throat> Minding your business. Yet, there's all these people with their eyes on you, Virgo. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see at least six people. <clears throat> I want to say Kiki. I want to say KK. Or I want to say, like, you know when someone texts, like, okay, but instead they say, like, KK or something. There's something about cake or there's something about pie. I just wanted to say trick. I want to say ill trick. There's an ill trick. 
Very strange, Regos. You've been staying in your own lane, though. Okay, but someone is still upset. Either about a past relationship you had, about an opportunity you have. And I feel like it's more than one person, to be honest with you. Like, it keeps changing. Like, a, a friend, um, an ex-lover's spouse, or a baby daddy's new girlfriend. Or there's something weird, like <clears throat> a mother. I just heard a fraud. A fraud. This person's upset and they're hurt with you for some reason. Five of Cups talks about sadness, talks about remorse, talks about um, mourning. I feel like this is even like a sister or a sister-in-law. Yeah, there's some definitely some bitterness, some jealousy, but they're upset and they're sad. There is some mourning going on. There is some depression going on. There's also like, <clears throat> there's also like a feeling of like, I don't know why they love Virgo so much. I don't know why they like Virgo so much. I think someone is crying for you too. I think someone else is crying for you and they're upset that they're sad for you or something like that, Virgo. <clears throat> in the mutual energy, we have Ace of Cups and the Knave of Wands. Look at how it fell, though, loves. It didn't fall exactly horizontally, upright, or reverse. It fell kind of like things are slowly changing and things are slowly turning, okay? I think um, you're in the middle of a big, big shift here when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your passions, your opportunity, like I said, for the past month, we've been weeding things out. We've been ending things. We've been purging people, family, connections, quitting jobs, being released from jobs. This is all about moving on to what your calling is for, your purpose. And I feel like with the Ace of Cups and the Knave of Wands, there's a whole new seriousness coming for you. And it's like almost like... <clears throat> what are those things like the time stoppers or like the the shifts you know when the sand comes what are they called the hourglass the hourglass is slowly turning upright okay you're going to love your new life but right now it is a little hectic it is a little chaotic it is a little crazy someone's having twins someone's gonna have twins but I also feel like there's also two souls that are merging together, coming together. I do feel there is a divine, divine connection, a divine plan. There is like so much bliss and happiness and overflowing love and emotion coming. That is going to be just spectacular for you, Virgo. I'm seeing even like a new wardrobe. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing Dubai, to be honest. I'm seeing like Persian. I'm seeing like Hindu dresses. There's something about, it possibly could be someone is coming from a different background or ethnicity. <clears throat> but I also feel like royalty, right? This is a divine royal connection coming. The king is finally going to meet their queen. Or however you identify, however you resonate with that. I just heard the royal palace. Things are finally going to come together. And you're going to understand why things have been so hectic. There has to be these crazy shakeups this month. Otherwise, you're never going to leave those things behind, which is why it's been so hectic. People are even getting shook in the health department. Underneath the deck, my love, seven of coins. <clears throat> Time, energy, finances, the seeds that you once have been planting or have been planting or have planted in the past you're finally going to start to see those rewards coming from those itty bitty seeds those manifestations those wishes those the energy you've put in the work you've behind the scenes look at that oh my god look the hourglass y'all see that and there's nowhere to go but up things are slowly shifting up oh my goodness virgos if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below
If you haven't already, like I said, please hit the bell, like, subscribe, share this video with all your friends and family so we can give people the messages that they need to hear. If this message resonates, let me know because that pie and that cake is going to drive me absolutely nuts. I loved you at your darkest. <clears throat> I think you're finally starting to see uh, just how much you've been through, Virgo. The dark that you've been through, the dark connections, the people who haven't done <laughs> any type of healing. We have freedom over here. Breaking free from people, not even really caring what people think about you or anything like that. And in the mutual energy, new love, my lovelies. Like I said, there is new love and abundant love coming underneath the dark. Why? Because you have learned your lessons, my lovelies. Let's get some Heal Yourself cards here. Oblivion, open your arms to you so you can receive <clears throat> way too many. Give me just one, please. Or two. Oh my gosh, love again. Oh, I feel like there's definitely something crazy coming, loves. There's definitely new love here for you, my lovelies. And we have the phoenix rising, rising from the darkness and the ashes, right? Those who once burned you they're going to have to watch you rise. Oh, Virgos, I love it. I got the chills. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much, and I will talk to you soon.